doctors, nurses, community groups all desperately tried to keep the maternity ward open uh, and they failed. Is there, have you heard one real uh, reason that we can believe as to why this was going to shut? I mean, is it just a matter of economics for Epworth? Is that what's happened? Absolutely. They're interested in cost cutting and that has been confirmed to me privately. And so one of I've actually reported the Epworth to the ACCC for misleading and deceptive conduct. I believe they may have breached the law, Steve. Not only did they mislead the two obstetric practices which set up there, they lured them into five-year lease agreements and failed to tell them that the closure of the maternity unit was a possibility. They also ran uh, at least one bogus job advertisement than I know of. And of course, if that's proven, that's a breach of the law. So they deliberately set about running down the maternity unit, uh, led by some of the best obstetricians, not just in our region, but across Victoria. Uh, 600 babies uh, are born at Epworth every year. And, and that was increasing up some 20% a year in the fastest growing region in the country. So um, this is a really dark time for our region and it comes on, on top of all the other ways in which the federal Labor government is hurting our health system, um, slashing public hospital funding, cutting Medicare rebates for mental health and telehealth, uh, and of course, uh, breaking its promise to deliver 50 urgent care clinics, including in the Geelong region, Region and in other parts of Victoria within 12 months. So all in all, from the Albanese Labor government, it's been a disgrace the way in which they have run down our health services across this country. Mark Butler has turned his back on the desperate workforce needs in the health sector. And you know, to see Labor MPs and these governments do sweet FA, I'm sorry I've used that expression in, in its short form, but I'm so angry, Steve. And and, and this comes after Daniel Andrews set up a fake sod turn before the election, uh, claiming that they were going to build the Barwon Women and Children's Hospital facility, when in fact that hasn't even been designed. The Commonwealth, we put $50 million into that new facility. That won't be ready until 2029. Uh, so, again, we have had a rundown in vital maternity and children's services uh, with uh, very, very little support from the Andrews government, which, of course, has put this facility on the back burner. Uh, I am just, as I say, I am so angry. Sarah Henderson, thanks for your advocacy. Thank you very much. That's Senator Sarah Henderson.